The Justice Department says more than 650,000 people are released from prison each year, but their criminal history makes it difficult to find a place to live. Bella Kraft spoke with a former prisoner about his housing struggle. When doors like this close, it can be hard for those on the inside to picture a life outside prison walls. But 95% of all state and federal prisoners will be released at some point. When you're re-entering society you know, from prison, there are multiple barriers that pop up. And housing is literally, in my opinion, the most difficult barrier to overcome, and if not the most important. One person I spoke with said the problem started immediately with the application process. He told me about his struggle to find housing. He wished not to be named for the story. Mickelson says the initial application process can be extremely hard for ex-offenders. He says it can take anywhere from two to eight months for them to find permanent housing. They're scared, they're worried, they're anxious. The biggest fear for a lot of them is being able to provide for their families. Even when previously incarcerated individuals find a place willing to rent for them, there are still some challenges, like having enough money for rent and a deposit. The second place said, yeah, we have to have a certain amount. And that's kind of the other kicker is, you know, a lot of people don't have that much money sitting around. And that lack of job or funds can present rental companies and landlords red flags. Tell me, how difficult would it be for you to maintain a job if you don't have a place to live? It's pretty self-explanatory. United Way, Salvation Army, Aid Incorporated, and Ministry on the Margins offer services to help people find shelter in the Bismarck Mandan community, but they're stretched thin. Luckily, the man I spoke with only had to wait about two weeks until he found a place willing to rent to him. Some of his friends say it took them months. Having a place, you know, to call home, you know, is beneficial because, you know, then you have somewhere you can always go to. Even if you don't have a job right away, you still have that place. Mickelson says when his clients get housing, it helps empower them to tackle other barriers, such as finding a job and getting on with their lives. In Bismarck, I'm Bella Kraft reporting for your news leader. Ministry on the Margins, Burley and Morton County Housing Authorities, and United Way Center for Opportunity all offer help for those with criminal records looking to find housing.